Hello everyone, I hope you are doing well. This is Krishna from Sony. In this video, I am going to demonstrate face image animation using the Nabla implementation of first order motion model. In this context, animation refers to the process of automatically synthesizing videos by combining the appearance extracted from a still image, which is called the source image, and motion pattern extracted from a driving video. In simpler words, it is bringing a static object to life by injecting motion into it. Now, image animation has a broad range of applications in areas of movie production, photography, e-commerce and other areas of education and entertainment. Now, this video focuses on human faces. So, in the context of human faces, how this works is as follows. Given a source image which contains a static face and a driving video which contains a moving face, we aim to transfer the pose, expressions, gesture and movement of the face in the driving video to that in the source image. Sounds cool, doesn't it? So let's see how this works and let us feel the power of injecting life into a starting image. Now to this end, we are going to use a deep learning model called first order motion model, which is one of the state of the art methods for image animation. Now I'm not going to go into the details of how exactly does this model work and how is it trained. If you are interested in that, I recommend you to check out the original paper and you can also have a look at the Nabla implementation of this model which we are going to use in this video. You can find the corresponding links in the video description. What I can tell you in short is that first order motion model is a deep learning model which takes in a source image and a driving video as input and generates a video that combines the appearance of source image and movement of the driving video. So you can find the collab demo of the first order motion model in the Nabla examples repository. So I am at the web page of the Nabla examples repository. You can scroll down to the interactive demo section and click open in collab for the collab demo of first order motion model. So we are here at the collab demo of first order motion model. You can see that this is an example of image animation using first order motion model. As mentioned earlier, this image on the upper right is called the source image and our aim is to animate this source image. The video on the left is called a driving video and we aim to transfer the pose, movement, expression, gestures of this face in the driving video to that in the source image. So we feed this source image and driving video to a neural network which outputs this video on the bottom right. Now this video contains appearance of this face and the movement from this face. So you can see here that all we had was a still image of the source face, but we are able to generate a video where the source image is expressing emotions, blinking eyes amongst other movements. By the way, this source image is generated by StyleGAN2, which is one of the state of the art image generation models. If you are interested to know more about StyleGAN2, you can check out the introductory run through video and the relatively detailed analysis video of StyleGAN2 analysis on our channel. You can also find those links in our video description. Now let's move on. Right, let's get on with the Collab Notebook. Before running this notebook, we must ensure that the hardware accelerator in runtime type is set as GPU. So we go here. So it is set as GPU, we'll save it. Now we'll install Nabla and the Nabla examples repository. We click run anyways. So these first two cells download the required libraries to run the code and we further clone the Nabla examples repository and move to the corresponding directory in the repository that contains the first order motion model code. We also upgrade the version of a library called PyYAML which is one of the required libraries to run the code. So we upgrade PyYAML. Now in this next cell, we define this function that enables us to play video in a collab notebook. Having done that, so now let us try running the first order motion model to generate a sample video like the one that we saw earlier in this notebook. So it's downloading the pre-trained weights. Now the weights have been downloaded and loaded and it looks like it's done. Let us play the sample video. So this play video function that we defined earlier enables us to play this video in a collab notebook. And you can see that our, our model is able to generate a good animation result like what we saw at the beginning of the notebook. Now let us move on. 
Now let us try something more interesting and try a custom image as our source image. So by running this next cell, we can upload a custom face image that we want to animate. This can be any face image that you want to animate. For now, we'll use the same driving video as the earlier example for a clearer manifestation of the difference. So, and I'll run this cell now and I'll choose a file. So I'm selecting this face image as the source image now and keeping the driving video same. So now that this has been uploaded, uh, we let's rename the image for our convenience. Having done that, now let's run this cell again to generate the animated video of our uploaded source image. Note that what we do require from the source image, apart from the fact that it should be a human face image, is that the pose of the source image should not be very different from the initial pose of the face in the driving video. So for our current driving video, the initial pose looks something like this. So what we need to make sure is that the pose of the face in our uploaded source image should be something similar to this. So for our current driving video, a frontal facing image should roughly work. So let's play the video and check out the result. And you can see that it looks great. We were able to animate this source image via this driving image. Another thing to note about the image that we are going to upload is that our deep learning model was trained for an image resolution of 256 plus 256. So that is the preferred image resolution for better results. However, image of other size will be resized internally when fed to the model as input. So it's not really an issue if you want to try with an image of some other resolution. Till now, we have seen two examples of image animation, both of which use the same driving video. Now let us try to do something more interesting and test image animation using our custom driving video. The next portion of the notebook allows you to record videos of your own face using the computer camera, which can then be used as the driving video for a given source image. So executing this next cell starts the webcam and allows us to record video using it. We will record expression and movement of a face and use it as driving video to animate a source image. Now, as stated earlier, we need to make sure that my initial pose roughly aligns with that of the source image. Now, for this example, I'm going to use the source image that I uploaded in the early example and the driving video in this case will be my face. So I'll run this cell. So running this next cell will start the webcam and allow me to record my video. And you can see that it has started the camera. I wish I were recording this video on a better hair day, but for the purpose of demonstration, it should work fine for now. So let's start recording the video. I'll first try to align my face roughly with that of the source image. So it was a frontal facing image and I think it looks fine. I'll start recording. I'll change my expressions a bit. Smile. I rose up, make a weird face. Move my head slightly. Wink. And talk normally for a while. And I think that should work. So you can see the video, how it's looking. It looks okay. Now let's try to animate a source image using my video. Now note that the recorded video will be automatically saved. Note that Sony will not have any access uh, to the video shot here. So if you do not want to keep it on collab, delete the video file saved here at the end of the demo. Now our, our result looks ready. Let's play the video to see how it looks. So let's play. And you can see that the result looks great. The eye movement, the expression, the lip movement, the facial pose gestures were effectively transferred to the source image. There may be some slight artifacts, especially in case of pose changes. And that is a limitation of this model. But 
but for limited post changes and other variation it it shows really great results and in general the synthesized video looks quite realistic i hope you enjoyed this video i encourage you to play around with it with your custom source and driving images thank you so much for watching please subscribe to our channel